Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a full face of Timu dupes. So everything on my face today is something that Timu is duping. The Lake Rain Halo Glow. We use the Quickie Stick. We use a Niacetamide Serum. We have a setting spray. Literally so many products from a future haul. I think this video is going to go up first not sure the order of everything but that is what happened today that's what's going on if you want to see the products that i love the products that i hated just keep on watching <laughs> before we get started i'm gonna go ahead and apply some hand cream this is one of my favorites um the hand cream pepper su peppermint swirl from big lots if you guys saw my haul i think it was last year <gasps> love and i love how it smells it just gives me all the vibes and i love the packaging it's so cute i'm gonna apply some lotion so we can get started all right for lips i'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite skin ever lip volumizer you guys have seen this many times before i thought i'd bring it out again so we can try it again i just haven't been reaching for it as of lately so yeah and also it's not really lip plumping for me i've never really seen a difference with my lips um but the packaging again 10 out of 10 super cute and it is pink and it's just adorable and i've talked about it many times before so we're gonna see if i actually feel any tingling i don't know why i never noticed um but i doubt it i don't know all right we have a couple products from the huda baby collection so this is supposed to be an abh dupe comes with a little brow pomade and this all came in the shade dark brown yeah o2 dark brown so there's look at the pomade which i'm going to use to fill in the brows i also do have the brow set which i think i also bought one individually from timu here it is this one was from lang manny and then this one is the huda baby one both of them are in I believe dark brown this one's in o1 and then we have this one in i believe is o2 dark brown so there's a look at those two they are quite similar i say just the font is different not quite sure about the formula though and then we also have the huda baby eyebrow pencil also in dark brown and this is a tear teardrop shaped situation as you can see and let me go ahead and swatch dark brown for you guys there's a look at that shade so hopefully it doesn't look too brown on the brows let's hope not i love that it comes with a spoolie and then we also get a little applicator in this little set which we are going to use to apply the pomade which i'm loving also does come with a little spoolie it's so cute it says huda baby on the barrel but before we move on further with the brows i'm going to go ahead and take this so this is the ibccc ndc watermelon niacetamide serum it is a highlighting serum and as you can see it is a dupe for a higher end brand we're not going to name names but there's a look at that so cute this is definitely one of the products i was waiting for for it to come back in stock because it kept going out of stock each time i was trying to place an order super annoying but i'm like girl i need to get this it's cute it's pink it's good for the skin so i'm gonna go ahead and use this let's see how this works What's happening? Is there anyone in there? Hello? I just need to get in there and start pumping extra hard. So there's a look at that product. It smells really nice. Oh, like watermelon, duh. But I'm just gonna take that all over the face, down the neck. Um, I have been getting a question about my neck routine. And I was gonna do a little like video on it, but to be honest, I don't do anything spectacular. For my neck all i do is take my serum throw it on my face and then just take it down my neck and that's literally everything that goes on my neck <laughs> so i think that is what's helping it look good but honestly in person i don't feel like it's that amazing i don't know but i keep getting that question about my neck routine and basically it's just taking a serum on the neck i think it does help hydrate that area making it look a little more youthful vibes but this was really nice and it already sunk into the skin i don't feel wet i feel a little tacky which is interesting but okay girl this is so cute i'm definitely gonna be using this a lot and update you guys in my empties video in future ranking videos for timu this is adorable all right so i love the fact that that dried down fast because now we're going on to brows so again this is a teardrop shaped applicator which i really like because one side is always sharpened to be sharp 
on one side and the other side is more on that like circular side so don't know the math or the what's going on the dynamics but i think it's going to help me today hopefully i'm going to go ahead and do my normal routine which is just line the top and bottom it's a little brown well obviously it's dark brown but it's like red brown which is interesting kind of scared now we're going to take the pomade and let's see if this helps anything. This one looks a little darker. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to keep this towards the end of the brow. Oh, it's really nice and creamy. Okay, girl. Pigmented, so keep that in mind. Love that it's more on that traditional dark brown realm and not so red brown like the liner like the little teardrop shaped one the little pencil so this is definitely giving me that balance that i wanted before we go any further i want to try the brow set because if it messes up my brows girl we could just start over nothing happened you know so i'm going to use this mainly towards the end of the brow mmm Okay, I was a little scared of this one. I thought it was going to be like ultra pigmented, but it's like okay, and I spoke too soon. I also do have a brow set for later on from Timu as well. So girl, they're looking pretty okay, of course. Like we're going to see once I get into <laughs> um, daylight how they look, but so far... They're looking like okay, like if they go with my hair. Not as dark brown as I like my brow pencils. You guys have seen like the one from um, She Glam. That one's like ultra brown. Like it almost looks like a dark black brown. This one looks pretty good. Okay, yay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start out with eyes. We're going to go ahead and take the Beauty Glazed Concealer. This is also from Timu. So this one here is in the shade Natural 404. Beauty Glaze is another really great brand on the site. I've talked about different brands on the website. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there is a video in my Timu playlist where I talk about brands that you should trust from the website. So it's just like, so if you guys are on the site, you don't know who to trust, you don't know who to buy from, what's going on, what, who's, what's happening, who are you, blah, blah, you can check out that video. And basically just talk about the brands that I've tried, that I trust, and ones that you should stay away from. Yeah. I really want to do a video explaining Timu because there are a lot of like perks and like hidden gems on there that you just kind of acquire while you're using it. Things that I've discovered, things that other people have discovered about the site. Not bad at all. I'm just saying like deals that you can get that you probably didn't know about. Um, your money back without returning things like it's just little tips and tricks you know um, I just have to figure out how to film that right, taking that concealer on the lid and this is actually a sponge from Timu as well didn't even notice that it is pretty wet vibes definitely have to dry it a little bit but here we go just blending out the concealer I'm looking very raccoony vibes. All right, so it felt like it's been so long since I did a Timu video. It was a total accident. I don't know how it happened. I think it's been like two months since I uploaded something like haul based or anything like that. I don't know what's going on with me. I just hadn't been shopping. I had been like adding to my cart, removing things, adding more, removing. Didn't really know what to purchase to be honest, but suddenly I accumulated so many goodies. So here we are. So I am using all these products before that haul video just to give me a little bit of a feel about them, what's going on, etc. So today we are using the Tinf Glam Palette. So I do own the gray version. Let me go ahead and grab it. Right, so there's a look at the gray one. I have done quite a few videos on this palette. Basically, it is just the gray version. These are dupes for a higher end brand from the brand Tinf. Tinf, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but here's a gray one. So I went ahead and picked up the more pinky version. Again, both of them are their glam palettes. And here's a look at this color story. It's more on the pinky side, as you can see. Um, I don't know what kind of look I want to go for. I was thinking something more on the pink side because I am wearing a pink shirt. But 
I kind of wanted something more on the grayish side. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But again, there's a look at the color story. Super cute. I really like the formula of the gray one that I've used. So we're going to see how this goes. So, And I love that it comes with a mirror. So cute. And it's a nice like size as well. Not too big, not too small. Definitely thought it was going to be bigger um, the first time around. But I kind of had expectations once I ordered this one. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here. It's like almost like a plummy purple kind of vibe. Because uh, why not? Let's just do like a cool tone pinky moment. I'm just going to use it as a transition tone. I use it to smoke it out, make it look cute. Again, these shadows are pretty nice quality. I'm also using it to kind of like set the lid as well so that concealer won't like crease or anything on the lid but mainly as a transition shade really pretty it's building up nicely love that it's blending out it's kind of smoking out the look I'll go ahead and move on I'm gonna take this shade right here almost like a pink burgundy, burgundy kind of vibe just taking that on the outer corner Oh my gosh so the whole time that i was away and my hiatus of not buying a lot of timu being to myself being a hermit um filming a lot of videos so i can be ahead hiatus i was watching stranger things i had never seen it i've like heard of it and stuff i don't know like when things are hyped up i'm just like not one to run and go watch it while everyone is talking about it i don't know why I'm very much like years later or nobody cares anymore kind of vibe same thing with the walking dead i was like not into it when it was first like being aired or anything i definitely got into it later on so i'm always like been like that so i saw that they had it on netflix and i was like oh i'm like let's try it i've been trying to be more open even with lucifer i watched that show as well on netflix it was like if it's not like if i'm not vibing with it in the first couple minutes i'm just gonna turn it off we're just gonna move on go somewhere else watch something else and i always end up vibing with it because you know people are right sometimes there are shows that are really good and i just don't want to believe it but stranger things i watched all the seasons girl oh my god i can't wait for it to come back i'm so excited so now i'm having like my boyfriend watch it my sister had already watched it it's just such a good show i'm shocked i didn't think i was gonna get into it but girl it's so good next i'm gonna go ahead and take this dark shade right here and we're gonna go ahead and deepen out the outer corner even more girl we're gonna make this smoky vibes oh girl oh okay i guess my brush wasn't excited for me so far so good with this palette it's like building up nicely i love that the dark shades are not just sticking to one area they're actually blending out nicely as well now we're gonna go ahead and take a shimmer so we have quite a few options for shimmer shades but i think i'm gonna take this shade right here because we have this pink one but i don't know what it is about it i just stabbed it okay let's swatch them first we have this shade here then we have okay the shimmer shades girl what's going on here never mind i can't take that one it doesn't even swatch well oh what's going on here with the shimmers they're almost very chunky vibes i don't remember that being the case with the other palette okay oh no I'm tempted to just keep this on the matte side i'm a little scared of the shimmer shades um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to take the neutral tones instead and just use it as a lid shade. They just look really chunky vibes and I do not want that to stick to my face to be honest. I'm a little disappointed but let's just keep it all matte. So I'm just taking that shade and throwing it on the lid. And you know what it honestly goes really well with my t-shirt. It matches sad about the shimmers but you know this palette is so inexpensive it's almost like eh, but i'm a little sad because they're either non-existent or chunky vibes so interesting but now you know in case you are on the market for this palette i'm just deepening up the outer corner even further now that we throw on that 
lid shade and just blending it out just making it smoky vibes next for eyes i did go ahead and purchase a liquid liner i did want to try out another one because the last one that i purchased was not great so this is from ml M lundo m lundo i love extreme crazy volume eyeliner and this is in the shade black so we're gonna see how this works i haven't tried it at all again a lot of these products are first come first serve never tried before situation so there's a look at that liner let's go ahead and swatch oh it's like pretty black and i'm just gonna go ahead and create a wing i'm honestly gonna clean up first completely forgot just makes it easier when i am creating a wing to clean up any fallout and then just clean up this area here there's a look at the eyeliner to be honest it was really easy to work with and i love that the tip is not too big it's not too chunky vibes it was so easy to apply i'm really excited about this you guys know how i feel about my liners they have to be the perfect length they have to have the perfect amount of pigment to it so it can create the wing and fill it in and for it to stay pigmented throughout the journey with me that's really impressive for like a dollar and change so good all right so i did pick up this product so this is the lake rain halo glow liquid face filter and this is the complexion booster for good looking skin it is a makeup and skincare multi-purpose liquid filter and i picked up the shade don't know wouldn't be able to tell you but it definitely looked lighter online this is how it looks so let's hope that it blends in i was going to use it as a liquid bronzer but i did go ahead and swatch it out yesterday and it just blends into the skin so i didn't try it on my face though so let's see maybe this would work for us maybe it'll give me a little bit of a tan vibe honestly not sure i'm kind of scared but let's go ahead and i'm just going to blend it in with my finger And then you guys know what this is duping specifically like the packaging base it's actually duping the original high-end brand okay girl so there's one side with the liquid filter one without it definitely gave me i don't know i'm feeling more like red over here because i was just touching my face but definitely giving me more of a glow on this side so let's go ahead and apply it everywhere else very tan vibes right oh my gosh but there's a look at how the filter looks on my skin tone again this is like the medium shade i don't know why it looks so like, a little too dark but you know what on the skin this might look really nice especially if you're gonna be on the beach or outdoors or something Ooh, i'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara i have the where are you from yabalin sky high 5d lash extra extra dimensional mascara so again you guys know the dupe this is duping the sky high mascara and it's just from yavelin so i do have a couple of dupes for that mascara but there's a look at this one I'm not sure how the original looks to be honest i've never tried it but you know it did go viral for a while so i'm gonna coat my lashes in this this is actually an oldie but goodie from the site i've had it for quite a while not that long at all but shouldn't keep your mascaras for too long but i'm just gonna do a couple little coats on the upper eye well i let my lashes dry so i can just pop them on in a little while i'm gonna go ahead and take my primers so i have two different primers first off we have this one this is the ibccc power ndc what <laughs> this is from the band ib ccc ndc power power grip primer in the green shade i do own the pink one so i do own the pink and now the green version so we're gonna go ahead and use this one today i'm sure they're not like too different maybe they're just different color and like the formula wise but these are actually pretty good i've actually tried it against the elf grouping primer just gonna take that on the face just uh, blending it right in it's definitely very like hydrating really easy to apply to the face and it's soon yeah it's getting tacky already as you can see definitely gives the face some tact 
cute, cute. Should I do a wear test on this makeup? Hmm. We also have this product, which is the FY girl. This is the JFY Beauty Poreless Putty Primer. So when I saw this girl, I was like, oh my gosh, I'd never seen them have a putty primer. It looks like so. So it does come with a little applicator, which I am gonna use. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm just gonna take it on the inner portions of the face, mainly that T-zone area. Let's hope that it mattifies. All right. Mm -hmm. It's a really slip and slidey on the face. Like really easy to blend, but it, it, it is more on the thicker side. I'll definitely have to try it against the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Yeah, and this did come in different colors. I just chose, I think this is just like the neutral tone. Really nicely. Not sure if it even mattified my skin at all. I'm looking very glowy from that liquid filter. It looks The skin is looking pretty good, to be honest. Look at that. While I'm applying my lashes, we did go to uh, Halloween Horror Nights. The day that I am filming this video, I know it's going to be all types of off. <laughs> when I talk in my conversations, I'm like, this is literally like, when I upload this, it's like two weeks later. But um, we did go to Halloween Horror Nights twice. And I did go into the Stranger Things maze. Let me know if you went to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal and your thoughts on the Stranger Things one just because like when i went i hadn't seen that season yet i had just been on season two i think i was watching like the ending of season two and i didn't feel like it was scary but it was really cool to see the maze and i was really confused i was like what is going on why are we in a desert what does this mean and then when i watched that season i was like oh my gosh no wonder they added all that like it just makes sense everything came together it was really interesting um still not scared of the maze it just wasn't scary for me again let me know your thoughts on that but i think the scariest was definitely the exorcist maze for me and there was a couple other ones too we went on every single maze except one which is based on a game i think it was like the last of us that we didn't do because it was just crazy long but yeah the stranger things ones thankfully we didn't have to wait too long i think it was like 30 minutes and honestly i wouldn't have waited two hours for that one it was just i don't know not that scary a lot of the jump scares were like the students from the show and not really the monster and then when they did show the monster it was the same old monster a bunch of times over i thought it was like okay definitely thought the show was scarier to be honest i think that's another reason why i don't really love getting into new show newer shows specifically like the walking dead all of the seasons are out already so i can just watch rewatch whenever i want but with these new shows it's just like i have to wait for the next season and it's really annoying but it was so good and i cannot wait for season five to come out so i do have two different foundations today i didn't know which one would match me best so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of them on my face first off we have the quibest quickie um this is said to be a concealer but honestly i think it's a foundation and this one here is an 04 so i did buy like the foundation shade it does come with a little brush at the top and also do have this here which is the dim show professional makeup all day matte light reflection foundation which is a dupe for the nyx one of course this one's a dupe alleged dupe for the urban decay so let's go ahead and swatch them this one here what shade are you not sure what shade i got everything that i'm talking about today is going to be linked down below so yeah so this is a get the dispenser really cute i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it oh okay thankfully it's sealed all right so first off i'm gonna take this one here swatch and then we're gonna take this one which does come with a dofa applicator like a giant one might be a little light to be honest hmm why do i want to go with the dim show one a little more it's just like more on the cool tone side i don't know like it matches my neck a little better and then this one's just a little too light we can actually use this as a concealer as it's said to be i just want to try it as a um 
foundation. So I'm just going to wipe that one off. And we're going to run with the Dim Show one. Not sure how much to apply, to be honest. But it's like really thick. So I hope I didn't overdo it. Maybe I did. <laughs> Story of my life. I always over apply it. But let's see how... Oh gosh. Bro, a little bit of this goes a long way. I'm definitely going to have to bronze quite a bit. That's the thing with Timo, as I mentioned in my other videos, their foundations, concealers do run more on the lighter side. So definitely keep that in mind. Of course, you would want to blend this down the neck. Really blend it in, especially if it's a lighter shade. Anything, just blend it down the neck. But you know what? The coverage is really nice. There's a close-up look at this foundation. Doesn't it look really good? I'm kind of scared that I'm looking <laughs> really glowy. But again, I think I'm, I am going to do a wear test on this look. Why not? Let's do a wear test. Today's Thursday. So, you know, we're going to be vibing. I'm going to be working and such. So I can update you guys throughout the day. I'm going to be doing stuff, moving around. It's gonna. We're going to be outside today. So interesting we're gonna be out there for an hour so hopefully it's not too hot but again this is gonna withstand hopefully withstand throughout the day it's been pretty hot as well so cute so again i do have two concealers we have the beauty glazed but i did use this earlier so you guys saw it in action i'm gonna go ahead and take the quickie from quibes oh you know what i'm gonna bronze first so we do have a couple of cream products first off we have this fenty beauty it literally says that um contour stick so this is their match stick in the shade amber cannot believe they just took the name very interesting this is definitely not giving high-end vibes it feels really cheap whatever but you are getting the experience of the same kind of packaging um we do have again the shade amber i have a feeling oh this is so dry oh my gosh i have a feeling this is gonna be very much oh my gosh okay let me switch to my hand very gray vibes um kind of sad i'm just gonna apply a little bit but i am gonna go over top with something else but you can see look girl if you guys have been on my channel you guys have been watching my teemu videos i use this all the time this is the lake green beauty contour stick this is called their multi-use stick in their bronzer shade i think i'm just gonna have to use this girl because <laughs> I'm not going to look gray vibes the whole day. So we're just going to go over top. And again, this foundation definitely needs some bronzing up. So I am going to apply quite a bit. Why are the eyebrows looking red? <gasps> are they not? Oh my gosh. Just applying that bronzer on the outer portion of the face. Yeah, very different as you can see. Girl. Mm -mm. I'm going to use my Metamorphosis brush to tap this in and you really do want to spread it on the skin really much like tap it out but also take it towards the hairline so it can look more natural love this brush it blends it in so easily literally just blending while i'm tapping it out it looks so nice all right, so I do have two different like blush products. First off, we have the Beauty Light Glow. This is from Beauty Glaze. Didn't even notice that. And this is their liquid blush, 103. So as you can see, it looks like this one. And you guys know what it's trying to do. Um, but I haven't used the shade. I just kind of like wanted to look at the color. I think this shade is going to look so nice. Oh, gosh. It's like a purpley kind of moment. Ooh, it's like literally purple, purple pink vibes. Okay, and again, just tapping that out. Oh my goodness, that looks so cute. It's very hydrating as well. That was so easy to blend. <gasps> cute. Okay, we also have this blush here. Not sure if I want to use it next time because the shade itself is completely different but as you can see it is a dupe for 
you guys know and there's a swatch of this one and this one is in the shade 04 but yeah i don't think i'm gonna use this today i'll just use it in a different video we're gonna stick to this one because the shade itself is going really well with the eye look and the vibes that we're going for so easy to blend out it's like almost like serum-y vibes it's like the pigment is there it's not taking over the look or anything it's giving me a little bit of a, a wash of color on the skin <gasps> oh that's so pretty it's such a beautiful color okay girl cute make sure that you lock it before you put it away because you're gonna have a mess on your hands if you don't but love the packaging now we can move on back to the quickie concealer i am going to use the little brush to blend out the product let's see how it works but i have high expectations for this little brush to be honest but again it was advertised as a concealer on the site oh this is giving me very much hydrating under eyes you guys know i have oily skin but my under eyes are not oily so i don't really love a hydrating concealer to be honest because it just makes me look tired i don't know how to explain it like when my under eyes are oily or like hydrated looking i just feel like i'm not having a good makeup day when that is a case I just look like tired it emphasizes my dark circles i don't love oh but you know what it like brightened up that area really nicely there's a look at that quickie concealer or foundation who knows i'm just gonna I'm, i think i'm just gonna throw it in with my concealers girl why not because it is way too light for a foundation but look at that it honestly did give me coverage looks really nice i'm just kind of scared that it's, look at that all the night late nights watching stranger things um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and add another concealer over top because i'm scared <laughs> should i or should i just wear it because we're gonna do a wear test anyway so i'm gonna just gonna build it up a little bit then we're just gonna use this why not because if not i'm gonna try to save this look i'm just gonna use my sponge this time and we have to see how this all wears so if the under eyes are looking crusty vibes at the end of the day we know that's what it was i'm telling you like once it's blended out it looks really nice i'm just really gonna have to set it really well really for the under eyes i'm gonna take this product i swear like the wet and wild duo i used to purchase it so often i don't know why i haven't lately but this is professional pro contour palette from mini star it even gives you instructions on how to contour and highlight your face it looks like so and again for mini star pro contour palette this is on the back as well looks like that almost looks dulce de leche vibes taking my new little puff i'm gonna take the cream color side and start setting these under eyes it definitely has a scent to it smells i don't know like hmm interesting to to be honest it's not horrible it's not that pleasant it's just like kind of strong so i'm also just throwing that powder on the inner like areas like the t-zone areas it smells like baby powder that's what it smells like all right inner portion complete under eyes are set we're gonna use that as a bronzer as well but before that we have this o2o powder i had been eyeing this it's not necessarily a dupe for anything high end from what i know but the packaging girl is stunning it's almost like on the bulkier side this is a o2o mist mirror locking powder in the shade o2 media no, natural beige comes with a mirror it comes with a little poof which i don't think i'm gonna use and then we also do get the pressed powder you guys know i love me a good pressed powder because it's less work it's less messiness it's just easy you know to throw on so let's hope this matches me well i'm just gonna take my normal powder brush and start setting the face cute okay there's a close-up look at the face now that it's powdered honestly the powder 
is looking really nice it's making the face look really nice and smooth foundation honestly is not full coverage from what i see because i can still see my freckles coming through but it's a really like nice cover still like it's covering what i need it to cover up but it's not like heavy feeling or anything everything is going working really well so far love the powder go ahead and throw on some bronzer because i'm looking pretty like light on the face so again i'm just taking this product from mini star and i'm gonna take the shade there and start bronzing up the skin i don't know why i keep thinking of that song from alice in wonderland when they're like painting the roses red she's like painting the roses red painting the roses red like why why are you on my head like why are you replaying over and over cute yeah it definitely blended in really nicely it's not gray vibes from what i can tell for blush we have this product here this is the hecky beauty product so this is called their cream and powder blush in rosy i don't think oh does it have a cream <gasps> i didn't even notice that it comes with a mirror oh i didn't even notice that it came with a cream i thought they were like fibbing there's a look at the cream shade but we're gonna use the powder side girl that would have been perfect for today we could have used the cream but oh well so we are gonna use just the powder side not the cream we're gonna use the cream in another video i'm just gonna take that on the cheeks look at that color that looks so cute all right cannot wait to try that cream side oh <gasps> yes all right let's do highlight next this is the oldie bugatti also mentioned in i think it was my last timu video so this is the suv m y e i o literally don't know the name um highlight looks like so super cute love the packaging very much like icy vibes right on the face right on the money it's a little tough to like build up from what i remember it was like very like natural looking oh yeah wow which is a good thing honestly because i'd rather build it up than it be like super punchy right off the bat okay girl just taking that on the inner corner as well all right so i'm just taking that same brow pencil and we're gonna start just deepening up these brows again they're very much coming off red brown yeah so definitely keep that in mind if you are gonna pick up that dark brown shade it definitely is coming off very much red brown not sure if it's coming through on camera but it is in person i'm gonna further set the brows using the huda story the brow glue brow set because I don't want these to move throughout the day. So a little more setting. Now you know it works because eyeshadow's pink, so you know they're gonna think like people are gonna think like she did brown red eyebrows to match her eyeshadow. She is dedicated. That's what I'm hoping will come from today. To be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, makeup washes off. I feel like not doing eyeshadow on the lower lash line. It's not me, but I'm not feeling it today. So I am going to go ahead and just take some mascara on the lower lashes. That's what we have so far. Next, I'm going to do lips. I'm super excited. I don't really have any like lip liners that I am in love with from Timo, to be honest. Not as of lately. So I'm just going to use my fave Ebony York Secret of Ferro Lip and Eye auto liner and this one here is in brown so i'm gonna do an ombre lip as always so i am filling in the lip a little bit all right next taking the ml smile matte liquid lipstick also is from the site it says long lasting up to 16 hours and this one here is in the shade 01 it's like a really light shade not as cool toned as it looked online to be honest okay and uh, to create that ombre lip i am tapping it out didn't think it was going to be that pink okay i'm feeling a little self-conscious about my brows now they're like red they're red huh well 
too late now. And lastly, for lips, we have the Jolly Jojo Hot Lip Gloss in the shade 05. It looks like so. This one honestly feels, I mean, it's plastic, but it's cute. And it says Jolly Jojo on the side as well. Nothing on the top. So this is going to be our gloss for today. All right, and to close out this look, we're going to use the Usha's, U-S-H-A-S brand Natural Matte Spray. So this is just their setting spray. So you can see it is a dupe. I never tried this. I'm a little scared. Ooh, it's a little bit of an aggressive mister. Wow, why does it smell like MAC lipsticks to me? But it smells like MAC. MAC foundation, MAC lipsticks. I don't know how to explain that, but it smells really good. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Let me know your thoughts down below. Eyebrows are definitely looking red. We're not going to talk about it anymore, but yeah, I can definitely tell now. Um, but you know what? We're going to do a wear test. We're going to see how this wears. Hair. I definitely tried a different hairstyle today. I'm kind of vibing with. I'm just not living for this little piece right here on my face. But yeah everything looks really good let's go over the products that i talked about today the new products and quick thoughts on them so so far so good with the lip products the lip gloss is really nice it was definitely more on the thicker side so i'd say definitely take a light hand when you're throwing it on because you don't want it to be all gloopy or like stringy or anything but so far so good love the combination that i chose today especially with my ebony york lip liner setting spray was really nice again if you do not love scent if you're sensitive to smells or whatever definitely skip out on this because it is very much that potent very much mac foundation vibes kind of scent to it and yes it smells good but it is pretty strong so definitely keep that in mind if you're not into scents if you're allergic or whatever this is definitely very heavily scented we also did have the palette i think it worked out pretty okay eyeshadows were really nice it blended out nicely i love the look that we created however the shimmers you guys saw the vibe with those i'm just like kind of disappointed by that because you know yes it's cheap you know you get what you pay for in the sense but i've paid for palettes where they're very much cheap on the cheaper side price wise and still work out great for me especially the shimmer shades so i'm kind of disappointed in this palette because of the shimmers i don't know definitely up to you if you want to try it i'll do it but mm. this one here i'm really excited to try out the cream side but the actual blush so cute looks amazing also this product is really nice as well i definitely recommend this if you're into liquid blushes this shade was really like different it looked really purple on the skin but it blended out really beautifully so yeah definitely recommend that also really liked the powder in here not sure about the cream i haven't tried it out but the actual powder shade is stunning really love this packaging we're so excited to try out something like this so I did have the powder, which we're going to see if it mattifies me, keeps me mad throughout the day. However, it did have a lot of like glowy products like this here. The Lake Rain Halo Glow was really nice. Again, more on the darker side. It did give me a little bit of a tan moment, but it was cute. We're going to see how everything wears. As I said, we're going to do a wear test at the end of this. We also do have the O2O powder. Again, I hope that it helps keep me mattified throughout the day. We also did have the Pro Contour. This was really nice as well. Definitely nothing extraordinary it gave me very much the vibes of my wood and wild one um i just really love this kind of powder even like the ellie colors one love that i can use this powder to set the under eyes which i did today and also the bronzer is just a two-in-one kind of moment really enjoyed that kind of sad that i didn't get to try this out but i'm really excited for in the future it looks really nice comes with a little mirror not sure if i mentioned that but it's so cute this product was really nice as well definitely blended into the skin really nicely it gave me some hydration it is a serum so it did blend into the skin really easily and quickly love the packaging i'm just going to keep this with my primers and we're going to throw this out whenever i can because i love me a good serum so yeah really love this as well this product we're going to see how this wears because right now everything's looking really good let's hope it stays that way throughout the day but yeah it's just giving me a very much like natural look to the skin i'm not looking super matte or flat or anything so yeah i'm really excited about that even though it says all day matte I don't feel like I'm looking matte, but Dim Show Light Reflection Foundation. Yeah, so we'll see how this works, how it looks throughout the day. So I did also try out the eyeliner. I think it looks 
really good i hope that it, it doesn't like come off throughout the day like wear down or look like like gray by the end of the day i don't know what to say but hopefully it stays as pigmented as is as it is now that it doesn't smudge down here i always get a lot of smudging with liners i can't really handle or like stay put throughout the day they tend to move around so we're gonna see how this one works but yeah i'm really excited about that the eyebrow products again i am looking very much red brow vibes right now so i did use all of the products i really liked the the pomade the most i think because it was a little darker than the actual like teardrop shaped pencil situation the brow set i was like mm. but i'm really glad that i got to try the little set super excited i like it i like it i don't really love the color but i like the formulas that we used i think a fail for me was definitely the fenty beauty stick what is this called match stick in amber i mean online sometimes things look a certain way look at the reviews i definitely want to take some time maybe in a weekday i mean a weekend or whatever like a sunday just sit down take pictures of my products and write a review on products on the site just because sometimes things don't have reviews and yeah we just need to do that if you own something from timu definitely go back add a review it doesn't hurt it helps another person another customer out definitely have to take my own advice but i don't recommend this unless you have like a super light skin tone and gray vibes work for you pick it up but for me it was just too gray and i'm kind of sad about it the quickie concealer foundation who knows but we use it as concealer let's hope that it can withstand throughout the day that i don't look super oily in my under eyes because that is something that i hate because it makes me look tired it makes me look like it just emphasizes everything that i don't that i don't want emphasized so let's hope this works but the actual like blending out the coverage on the under eyes is really nice for foundation it's just going to be way too light for me next we have the putty primer i can't really say too much about this i don't know I, this is the first time i use it um don't really see a huge difference i love that it came with a little applicator vibe but i don't know you tell me i think it looks good like yeah but i s definitely could still see my pores and all that so it's not really like pore filling at the moment like from what i see let me know it did smooth out that t-zone area but i don't know we'll see how it wears as well definitely i'm gonna keep trying all these products i do ranking videos i'm gonna do a haul video on this and i think i'm gonna do a full face like a dedicated full face to all the products that i bought from this haul i think i'm gonna do another video using these products so we can try them out some more and see my thoughts last product from today was this primer again the power grip primer i already own the pink one so i am pretty uh, like i already know how the formula is formula seems to be the same from what i can tell they both blend out really nice to give you it gives your skin a little bit of a tack to it so yeah we're gonna see if this helps out that foundation or not those were all of the new products that i tried today definitely let me know what was your favorite product are you gonna try anything from this haul are you gonna pick up any of these products let me know in the comments down below i'll have everything linked in the description box if you want to check it out i also do have a timu playlist which is always linked down below again in the description box everything you need to know is down there 12 38 i'm looking pretty shiny vibes hmm all right, it's about to be 2 p.m. Makeup is looking pretty good. I'm just getting very oily in my forehead area. This eyeliner is honestly not transferring as much as I thought it would. Lips are pretty good. No complaints about that. Eyeshadow is looking good. So everything is looking pretty okay. All right, checking in. It is about to be 4 p.m. I'm just going to do this as a last official check-in. I'm sitting in my car. just got out of work. Um, so I did lose quite a bit of coverage here on my forehead, as you can see, not looking cute, not looking cute. I was touching that area quite a bit because of my bang here, my little hair situation. So I don't know, or maybe I was touching my head too much, but that's a no, no in my book. Um, yeah. And then I am looking pretty oily on my forehead as well. Now, everything else honestly is wearing really well. Lips are good. I think I also got some... Um, disturbance on the nose area yet another area where i touch a lot like that's just like i'm always touching my nose girl these brows <laughs> they just look so brown in person on um, like the viewfinder and everything it looks good i was editing the video earlier and it looks pretty normal but in person i don't know what it is it just is giving off way too like red vibes for me 
and I feel kind of weird. Like I felt self-conscious today at work. So I don't know. Um, my coworker was like, girl, it looks so good. You know, like it makes your skin look lighter. I don't know why it look, you know, hyping me up, but I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use those <laughs> eyebrow products again, to be honest, especially not to work. I don't know. I feel weird. I like, felt weird. Um, but everything else, honestly, is looking really good. It's just a foundation that kind of messed with me. But highlight is still there. I can still see some glitter. It's very glittery vibes. Blush is still there. Now this eyeliner is giving me just a little bit of smudginess. As you can see, like very minimal. Um, it's way better than other liners that I've had. They just are way worse. Um, but you know what? Everything looks pretty good. Let me know your thoughts down below. Lips are going strong. I did touch them up throughout the day. So that's like whatever. But yeah, so close up look at the skin. I think the foundation was really nice it's just not one that i would wear to work again to be honest it just didn't last as well on my skin type i do have oily skin so keep that in mind and it's supposed to be a mattifying foundation concealer girl i am so shocked that quickie concealer <laughs> looks pretty good i thought it was gonna look super oily vibes on my under eyes but the powder set it perfectly and it just looks really nice not a lot of oils have um like creeped from that concealer and everything else looks good i'm just looking very oily in my forehead area everywhere else looks good let me know your thoughts down below on this wear test i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see other wear tests definitely let me know in the comments down below let me know that you like this video by liking and hitting that like button subscribing following me commenting that's how i know you guys are enjoying this content and again don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>